Okay, we're just going to take a moment to show you how to bottle the wine. Um, we've just filtered this wine to a nice bright polish and now it's time to put it into the bottles. Very simple process, but sometimes it's just good to be able to see it before you get started so you, you don't have any, you know, any problems as you get going. Um, the real secret to bottling is this little device called a bottle filler. Our starter kits come with them. If you don't happen to have one, you should drop by and pick one up because it makes the whole process a lot easier. What I've got done here today is I have our bottles already cleaned and lined up on the floor. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my racking tube, which has a siphon hose attached to it and a pinch clamp. Also a very good um, device for helping out with this process. And I'm going to set my racking tube down inside my finished wine. Um, I'm going to kneel down on the floor because I'm going to want to get some gravity to help me out getting the siphon started. Essentially, I'm going to suck on the hose and just pinch off the clamp. Now that the, the hose is pinched off, everything's stuck in the line, I can just attach my bottle filling device to it. I'm going to set this down inside the bottle and I'm going to release the clamp. Okay. Now, my bottle filler has its own shutoff valve in the bottom, so the wine's not going to actually start flowing until I drop it into the bottle. When it hits the bottom of the bottle, the valve is pushed out, released, and the wine will start to flow inside the bottle by itself. Um, it's a, you know, it flows in a reasonable amount of time, I and mean, once you get really good at this, you might even be able to cork your wine at the same time you're, you're bottling it, but for uh, the purposes of demonstration, we're not going to try that. <laughs> Now, as it gets towards the top, you can find another handy little feature of this bottle filler. You can, you can pick it up and it'll shut off. And you can just keep gently tapping it on the bottom until the bottle gets filled all the way to the top. The bottle filler has the advantage of displacing approximately you know, the right amount of space for a cork and a little bit of space underneath. So, um, as I said, it's perfect in that regard. Uh, bottle's full, right to the top, pick it up, and it'll leave you a good amount of space for the cork. I'm just going to do two bottles here, and then we're going to go on to, um, to show you how to cork the wine. So let me just get this one filled up to the top. Nice color. Okay, once again, I'm going to fill this right to the very top so I can't get any more in, and I'm going to pull it out. And I would normally go on to the next bottle here. Now, because I'm going to stop, once again, this is a handy tip for if the phone rings or something, um, I've got a pinch clamp on this hose too, so I can pinch the clamp off and walk away from it. Phone rings, something happens, pinch that clamp off and just uh, make sure it's good and snug and you should be able to walk away. Now. As far as corking goes, we have a couple of different options. I'm going to show you the hand corker first, which actually does a fairly nice job once you get the hang of it. it takes a little bit of knack, but I like to put the cork in, um, line it up sort of straight, put your weight evenly over the, over the cork, push down, and give it a little snap at the end. And you know, that cork goes in pretty reasonably well, it's not too bad. Um, we also have a floor corker. You want to lift up the handle all the way. When the handle's up, this will move so you can put the wine bottle in. You're going to want to drop the cork in. Pull down on the handle, which locks this into place so it doesn't move. And you can just simply drop your cork into the bottle like that. If you found, after you put the cork in, this is perfectly flush, which is great. If you found after you put the cork in that it wasn't quite going in far enough or it was going in too far, you can simply adjust a uh, little mechanism here, higher or lower, to adjust the cork depth. Um, that's basically all there is to it. Once you've uh, bottled your wine, a lot of our customers 
like to put the finishing touches on. And you can basically add a label. These are some nice custom labels that we sell. You can put your name on them. Um, we have regular labels. Put a shrink top on the top. Give a little bit of uh, heat, usually from steam or a kettle or something like that. Boiling water works well too. And you've got a perfectly beautiful bottle of wine that looks like a, uh, a commercial product. So anyway, I hope this has been useful and hope that uh, you have fun bottling your wine.